Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, we're out here deep dropping for tile fish today out in 450 feet of water and I wanted to take a, a quick break from the action and just talk to you a little bit more about the type of tackle that we're fishing. This is really extreme bottom fishing. We're fishing multiple hook rigs, 450 feet below the surface, right on the bottom with anywhere from uh, 16 ounces, 24 ounces of lead. Uh, some days you may even have to fish three pounds of lead depending on the conditions that you're faced with. However, in order to do this effectively, you really need some specialized tackle. We've got a custom eight-foot chaos rod, a composite rod. It's very light, made out of graphite, but it also is a manufactured of fiberglass as well. And that provides this stick with plenty of backbone. It's stiff, you've got plenty of backbone, but it's got a soft tip, which is essential for detecting strikes so far away from the boat. The rod is matched to a Daiwa Salty size 50 reel, a high speed reel, 6.4 to one gear ratio. Essential when you're reeling up so much line from such great depths. Additionally, the line could very well be the most important part of this equation. You cannot do this fishing effectively with monofilament. It just stretches too much and it's just too thick. You just can't do it right. You need braid. We've got our Saltiste reels loaded with 20 pound diamond braid. Super thin, but also super sensitive and really strong. You're not gonna break this stuff, that's for sure. I've got hundreds and hundreds of yards of line on the reel, plenty of capacity, plenty of breaking strength, but that sensitivity is probably the most important factor. Being able to detect those strikes so far away from the boat is essential. The rig is pretty simple. You can purchase deep drop rigs right off the shelf at your local tackle shop. I prefer to rig my own, a four hook, you know, a rig, I've got 5.0 VMC circle hooks. They grab those fish in the corner of the mouth every time. You need the circle hooks. You're not gonna set back with a J hook and hook these fish. It just doesn't work that way. As I mentioned earlier with the lead, we're you know, able to get away with 16 ounces today, but make sure that you go out well prepared. Everything from 10 ounce sinkers, 20 ounce sinkers, 24, 36 ounce sinkers. You know, you never know exactly what you're gonna need depending on the velocity of that current and the wind. And finally, you need a light source. I've got a little Lingren Pittman strobe right on here. These tile fish and a lot of these deep water predators, they hunt by smell, but also by sight. And they hone in on that strobe light flashing out in the distance. They swim up to it. They get a whiff of your a squid or whatever other type of bait that you're fishing and boom, you're hooked up.